Hello guys, welcome back to Nintendo Gaming Box, and here is the Nintendo 3DS video I was telling you guys about that I was going to upload. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix a problem that I have had through the past couple months, several months, with my Nintendo 3DS, and it's probably one of the most common problems with any cartridge-based system. So, the thing is, over time, the pins on these ga little game cards, come on, camera focus, yeah. The pins on those game cards, they get worn down. They get gunk, gunk builds up. Like, either you'll get dirt in there, or you'll just get dirt and grime. Like, the, this is the oldest DS game I am playing. Like, I've been playing this game since 2012, and it's 2019. So the contacts have gotten really dirty. So I'm going to show you one of the best ways I have learned how to clean it. You can do this for the Nintendo DS and 3DS. I'm just going to be doing it to both games to show you that it works for both of them, regardless of the system that they are intended for. So this is going to be really weird. You actually are going to need a piece of paper for this and a toothpick. I, I, I uh, have this tiny little half of a toothpick and you're gonna, we're gonna take a piece of this paper and just tear it off. It doesn't matter the size, just tear off a piece of paper. Now we're gonna put this sheet of paper aside and now you're gonna take the piece of paper and you're going to fold it. It doesn't matter how you fold it, you just take the folded end and this is really cool. Whoops. Okay, minor blooper, I dropped the DS game. I'm so clumsy. Anyway, let's get on with this. So you take the piece of paper, take the folded end of the paper, and take it and just put it in the contacts and rub gently. Rub for about five seconds in every contact, every tiny little slit in between the contacts like this. Now I did this to every single one of my DS and 3DS games because I have had these games for so long that my 3DS was having trouble reading them. Some of them w couldn't be read at all. And then after I did this a couple times to the DS games specifically were really dirty and hard to clean, but it worked. So I just did that to every single one of my games. And also, sometimes there'll be tiny little specks of dirt or grime stuck in between that you just can't get out with the paper. So you're going to take th this uh, tiny little piece of a toothpick and do this very gently. If you press down too hard on the contact, you could scrape it and then your 3DS won't, probably won't be able to read it or your DS. And then you just... Rub in between. Rub up against, okay, I don't know if you, the can, this is showing up on camera, but these tiny little black pieces of plastic that separate the contacts, you want to take the toothpick and rub up against it to get any dirt or grime that could be really stuck. Because there was a little bit of dirt and grime that was stuck under the little black panels. So I just very gently rub. See how gentle I am? You just need to very gently go back and forth. Now you can take your time with this, but I'm doing it quick because I recleaned all my games earlier today. There. So look at the contacts now, they're all shiny. Before they were like a dark bronze because of all the filth that had built up and it was a little black. And I don't suggest cleaning with liquid. I suggest you just take the piece of paper, rub in between each slot, this part is optional. You don't need to do this if you don't have a bunch of dirt and grime. But these games, have, I've had, my brother has had the, this specific DS game since 2012, so it built up a lot of dirt and grime. So we're going to set this game aside. And you basically just do the same thing for the 3DS game. You just take your piece of paper, rub all the contacts, and then you can take the toothpick and very gently... Try to get any extra dirt or excess grime that is stuck in there you just can't get with the paper. Look, all nice and shiny gold. 
And also, the problem may not be your games, but it might be the cartridge slot. So, here's another crazy thing I did. If your cartridge slot, if you, I've uh, shown a flashlight inside of my cartridge slot, and there was quite a bit of dust and stuff inside of it, because, you know, it isn't covered up like the new 2DS XL. So I just took this little, th this cheap little ball pump, flipped my system upside down, and then I took it. Okay, when doing this, you want to stick it inside, but don't stick it all, all the way. Barely stick it in. If you stick it in too far, you'll hit the contacts that read the game cards, and then your 3DS is screwed and you can't read any physical games. So just hold it right here like this, and just pump air. Pump air, re really aggressively pump air in there. And you can get most dust, most of the dust out. I did that a couple times, and that really helped. And now, now we're gonna take the 3DS game, stick it in. And plus when your game, even if your game, let's say that sometimes the contacts on your games will be dirty, but it'll still read the game. There's the chance that if, if you don't clean them off, if they still could be red but they're dirty, there's the chance your game could crash while playing it. Because it only takes a tiny little movement of the dirt and grime to mess up your game and then freeze it up and crash it. Okay, so we're going to take the game, stick it inside. And plus when you uh, clean the contacts off, the game is read quicker by the system. So stick it in. There we go, Super Mario Maker 3DS. You're gonna take it out, stick it back in. There. There, see, it reads it no matter how many times we eject to stick it back in. Cause it's clean, boys. Come on, okay. Now the DS game. These games were much harder to clean because they're so old. There we go. In fact, the DS games get read quicker than my 3DS games. You see? Now, no matter how many times I eject it and take it back out, it reads it. And that's all you have to do. Also, before you uh, attempt to clean off your cartridges, I suggest you try pumping or blowing air into your cartridge slot because that might be the only problem. And you don't want you don't want to go through all the work of cleaning all your game cards when the problem is probably just dust inside the cartridge slot. So that's today's video guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to Nintendo Gamer Box for more content. I upload randomly because I do YouTube for fun. I don't work on a schedule. And yeah, basically thank you guys for watching. See you guys later. Peace out.